even before it became a tropical cyclone, most of the models were indicating that it would recur well to the east of us and head either towards Yucatan or Cuba. And the current part is for it to go towards Western Cuba and make landfall there possible as a major hurricane and eventually uh, make another landfall along the Western coast of Florida. In terms of impacts on Belize, it will be minimal. Uh, one of the impacts we're feeling already is that our winds have shifted to the west to northwest due to the circulation around um, Ian. And because of that, your typical hot daytime temperature that you would experience inland are moving closer to the coast. So people in Belize and, and elsewhere along the coast are experiencing higher than normal temperatures uh, because of that land breeze that we're having due to the circulation around Ian. Another impact is that you're also your typical afternoon thunderstorm that normally develop inland due to heating will tend to move also to the coast and offshore areas late in the evening and nighttime. Currently on our radar, we're seeing already seeing some showers developing, especially over the mountains. And those will gradually move uh, towards coastal areas. We don't expect um, anything near tropical storm or hurricane force winds. Uh, but winds can become gusty in thunderstorms, as is normally the case.